Okay. Hello, my name is Marcus Richards, and we were going to be reading a story by inventor Stephanie Wolek from the book Girls Think of Everything, Stories of Ingenious Inventions by Women. Author is Catherine Thimish, illustrated by Melissa Sweet. Stephanie Wolek, inventor of Kevlar. Skillfully gliding down the snow-packed mountain, a skier is unaware of an amazing material improving the performance of her skis. It is a mysterious material found also in airplanes and athletic shoes, in tires and ropes and gloves, in boots, in boats, and bullet-resistant vests. It's strong, incredibly strong, bullet-stopping strong. It is also flexible and incredibly light. It can shave 800 pounds off an aircraft frame. A material that was, one, that was once a mere fiction, found only in Superman's suit, is now a fact. Thanks to Stephanie Wolek, inventor of Kevlar, we now have a fiber that is five times stronger than steel and used in everything from skis and sailboats to space vehicles. As a research chemist for the DuPont Company, Stephanie was assigned to find the next generation high-performance fiber. At that time, we had heard that there was the potential for a petroleum shortage, explained Stephanie. We were thinking that if we could get a very strong and very stiff, lightweight fiber, then we could use it to reinforce radial tires. This would make the tires lighter, and therefore you could use less energy because the vehicle would be lighter. Stephanie spent a few months experimenting with very stiff chain polymers. A polymer is a chemical compound made up of repeating structural units. One day, she prepared an unusual solution. When she stirred the solution, it turned opalescent or pearl-like. When she put some on a spatula and let it flow down freely, it was cohesive, like a glue. It was also very thin, like water. Amazingly, it was a liquid, crystalline solution, part liquid, part solid. Stephanie immediately thought that DuPont could spin the solution into fiber. But when she took it to the technician, she refused to put it in the spinning apparatus, claiming that the cloudiness and texture of the solution meant there would still be bits of solid particles in it, material that would clog the tiny holes of the spinneret. I went back to the laboratory, and I thought, well, maybe he does have a point, Stephanie said. So I filtered it, and I found when the solution passed through a fine, poor glass funnel, it was just as cloudy on the other side, so I knew it didn't have any solid material in it. Stephanie talked to the technician on and off for a couple of weeks, gently prodding and persuading him to spin her solution. Finally, he agreed. Once the fibers were made, she sent them to a physical testing lab to have the properties determined, properties like strength and stiffness. The results were astonishing. She had the fibers tested again and again. When I got the numbers back, I was rather skeptical, she recalled. I thought maybe they'd made a mistake, and I certainly didn't want to embarrass myself by telling anyone. As it turned out, Stephanie didn't embarrass herself. She had invented a remarkable technology, and as a result, a fiber that would forever change the field of polymer chemistry and make many millions of dollars for DuPont. She was rewarded with a generous bonus and a long overdue promotion. Many people came on board during the development phase, and Stephanie is quick to point out that some of them made very significant contributions to the final product. There was a tremendous amount of excitement in the lab, as well as secrecy. And were there any problems? There were millions, Stephanie said laughing. Many times we almost gave up because it was such a contrary fiber. And of course, before you can commercialize something, the whole process and product have to be very reliable. Every step was a challenge, she says. Every step a learning process. In 1971, Kevlar fiber was spun in the DuPont plant for the first time. 
Today, all you need to do is look around. Kevlar is everywhere. It is used in more than 200 products, including sailboats, rackets, racing cars, in downhill skis, woven layers of Kevlar reduce weight and lessen vibration. In athletic shoes, it gives stronger and more flexible, flexible foot support and disperses shock. In fact, the product can be used wherever and wherever a very strong, very stiff, lightweight fiber is needed. Any ideas?